What in the world is going on? This blinker is going berserk. The other way is fine. This one's freaking out. It's either low on blinker fluid or one of the bulbs is burned out. And I always keep my blinker fluid topped off. So I'm gonna go with, uh, this is what it looks like when one of your turn signal lamps is burnt out. And this is how the car tells you that you need to take care of it. So let's go take care of it on, on this uh, 2015 Dodge Grand Caravan. Hey, thanks for checking in with Carbon's DIY Garage. This is a really simple issue that you can resolve on your own. If you see that fast signal uh, blinker going on on the inside, it means one of your bulbs burned out. So to figure it out, just turn on your four-way flashers and uh, you can see coming up front, the driver's side's working just fine. Passenger bulb is all burned out. And if you go to the rear, both sides of the rear are blinking. So I know that the bulb right here needs to be replaced. This is something that um, is going to be basically the same on any vehicle, any modern vehicle anyway. Uh, you just have to find where the bulb's located, reach around back here, take the old bulb out, uh, replace it. And you'll have to Google you know, the, the turn signal or the indicator bulb for your particular vehicle. I'll leave a link in the video description for the bulbs for this Grand Caravan. Um, but once you have the bulb in hand, then you just need to go uh, pull the uh, old bulb out. One thing I wanted to show you is uh, before we go take this bulb out, I turned down the parking lights, turned the turn signals off. You can see the bulb works just fine. What's up with that? There's actually two filaments inside that bulb. One of them is for your running lights or your parking lights, and the other one is for the turn signal. So it's quite possible that the bulb will still work if you turn the headlights on to check it and the turn signal filament might be what's broken. So don't turn your lights on to see if you can find out which blinker bulb is broken. Uh, turn those hazard lights on and you'll find it. All right, so let's go ahead and get around back behind there and take a look at this thing. So here we are looking at the passenger side and um, this is the headlight assembly. This big bulb right here is your low beam. This is a vent for the headlight assembly and your blinker, your turn signal bulb is right down here. Kind of hard to see in this view, but there it's that brown colored. And uh, to get it out, you literally just twist it just like this, going counterclockwise and pull it out. And there it is. So on this vehicle and on most vehicles with these bulbs, they're going to be different sizes. It could be smaller, they could be larger. Uh, they might be amber in color, they might be clear, but you're just going to pull them out of the socket. And I've already got this one loose because they're in there pretty tight. But you pull it out just like that. And then you get yourself a new one, you put it in exactly the same. All right, I have got that bulb with the new one pushed tightly back in. You can see on the socket here, it's only gonna fit back in one way. These keyways will make sure of that. So just line it up so the keys uh, all fit in. It's, it should go in uh, nice and smooth. Turn it clockwise to lock it in place, and then you should be go good to go to check it out. All right, that new bulb is in place. It is good to go. It is working. I've got the parking lights turned on and the turn signal. Both filaments are working just fine. Going back over to the driver's side, the driver's side is working as well. Nothing changed there. I haven't touched it yet. But in case you do need to work on it on the driver's side, it's just as easy to do. And that turn signal bulb, again, is right here, closest to the engine. Very easy to get to. Very easy to replace. And that is it, my friends. The rear ones is pretty much the same. You may have to take the tail lamp assembly out, which is usually just a couple of fasteners. If I ever have to do that, I'll make a video for it. But I hope this video has been helpful. It's a very simple task. You can definitely do it yourself. Get the bulbs pretty cheap. You don't have to have anybody else do it for you. You got this. If the video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment if you'd like. And until the next project or video, you guys take care. Have a good one.